Hi folks, we are at an open garden in South Buffalo. This is Sharon's garden, and uh, which opens every Friday later in the day. So with the permission of the gardener Sharon here, let me take you on a walkabout and walk with Sharon. So this is the front yard. Uh, we see we have a hydrangea tree and as well as a uh, uh, shrub hydrangea, some of the milkweed as well. I believe this is a service berry, right? Yeah, and they do get a berry, but uh, it's very hard to compete with the birds. They get the berry. I mean, they they would go nuts for the for the service berry. And I actually tried some of those. They taste just like blueberry, but okay. sweeter than blueberry. Yeah, yeah. So we have some very nice astiobi in different shades of pink and uh, different height. It complement each other very well. And the Sharon likes to use containers uh, as part of her uh, mixed border. So this would ha uh, add a different dimension of height as well as color and texture. Uh, provided by the container itself, as well as the planting in the container. So I believe the plant in the center is a type of uh, a salvia or Correct. sage. Right? Salvia. Yeah, what about the yellow flower? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. Oh, that's Biden's. Biden's, okay. Yes. That's something new yes. to me. Yeah. Very lovely. And uh, the first thing as we, the first thing we notice as we enter the backyard garden through the driveway are the arbor for the grape uh, which the grapes climb on. You will see uh, there are many grapes about the fruit. Now this is very nice and not, not only it provides the shade you get the you get a fruit, you can harvest your own grape. How nice is that? So now we are entering the backyard garden. Sharon loves lilies in particular, and I wish you can be here to smell the fragrance. It's just incredible. Lily has such a uh, powdery but very clean uh, refreshing sweet scent and uh, I want to point out this very special container if you're crazy enough when you travel to Europe you will buy a container and get them back to your home and use them in your garden so this is a very special uh, it's, it's ceramic right? right yeah ceramic container Sharon brought back from her from Capri Italy and she, she tried to use a blue color annual to complement the yellow uh, from the container. It's just so nice. The fragrance from the lily is just so amazing. Yeah. So this little pass, uh, on both sides of the pass, we have different types of lily, day lilies. They have different color, different height and uh, they just mingle with each other and uh, create this such a lovely, lovely view. So this shrub with this dark red large flower is a sweet shrub. And uh, it is a, I mean, is it a native shrub? Uh, uh, no. No, okay. This yeah. is Aphrodite. Aphrodite, yeah. Look at the flower. And they flower for a long period. They do, right. uh, way up to October. Oh, October, yeah, how lovely. But uh, you have to give it enough space. It can yes. grow into a quite substantial sized uh, shrub. Yeah. Let me show the pathway from this side. We have some Lucifer uh, plant, Lucifer flower, more canna lily in containers. And also the, I believe this is the meadow rue, which has this very vertical, tall, slender uh, 
Silhouette. This is also a uh, Rue Meadow. This is a bigger, taller variety. It has those very delicate and the dainty uh, little flowers. Now let's explore more of Sharon's garden. This is a trombic flower vine and it's a very vigorous grower and uh, but when they flower it can be quite magnificent. Look at the flower. Let me do a pan. It's lovely. At the far end of the backyard garden we have the climbing hydrangea uh, covering the fence. The climbing hydrangea is a very slow growing climber, but uh, but they can, once they get going, once they get established, they can be quite uh, quite impressive when they flower. Yeah, and this is a very, <laughs> very special vignette in Sharon's garden. Well, she placed a mirror uh, at a corner of the garden. It just reflect image and give you an illusion uh, uh, there's a more there are more space on the other side of the frame of the mirror it's just very intriguing so this will be uh, the most shady part of the garden so we have a lot of shade loving plant brunera hosta uh, some of the heuchera, STLB. Those are uh, uh, European ginger, yes. right? European ginger with the glossy leaf. With the glossy leaf. Those are the European ginger. And some of the Solomon seal with the uh, lighter color on the edge of the leaves. Also, you have those are uh, lily of the valley, right? They can tolerate dry shade very well. This is a very peaceful garden, and uh, Sharon use use a huge variety of different plants. But uh, she used them in such a clever way, and uh, they look so in in harmony here. More the uh, more of the canna lilies, even before they flower, the variegation on the leaves is just stunning. Look at the contrast. Now I will give you a full view of the sweet shrub bush. Isn't this magnificent? So many uh, dark maroon color flower. And uh, so the flower holds their shape pretty well. Yes, right? they do. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the unique things. A lot of the flowering shrub, when they first flower, they look very nice. Once we have some rain and storm, they can look quite unsightly. They, yeah, they for example, never. the magnolia yes. would be an example, yeah. But this will be very different. I believe this is a, a black lace uh, elderberry. Yeah, so people pay attention to the size. This is at least 12 feet high, yes. so they can get huge. Even though you may think it's a small shrub when you buy them, but uh, they can get into like the size of a small cottage <laughs> over time. <laughs> so the mixed border continues very nicely. And we have the clematis right next to the dogwood. Uh, Sharon, tell me what this... This is Rudbeckia. Rudbeckia. It's a yellow flower. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so it's a very tall variety. Yes. Yeah, look at the height. It's it's taller than six feet. Yeah, I, I mean, I bet when they when they are in full bloom, it's kind of a uh, stunning, it right? It's very pretty, yes. Yeah. And that this, um, so a lot of people are interested in the uh, rosaria. Okay. This is the cherry blush. You mean you the one really in the container, or this one here? Okay. You don't mm -hmm. really see this very often. Yeah. And. Um, it, it actually starts off, the leaves are burgundy, and uh -huh. then throughout the summer they're green, oh, and then yeah. they turn burgundy again, just like the color well, of the how flower. how interesting. And okay. I should mention, Sharon is a master gardener in Erie County. Yes. Yeah, so she's very knowledgeable 
about the garden and also the plants. So I always learn something new whenever I visit her garden here. Let me show you one of my favorite spots in her garden. It's the statuary with the uh, golden smoke bush and with the bell's bridges. Let me walk closer. So this is how you use a statuary in your garden to add a little bit of a story uh, to your garden, make it so charming. So the smoke bush, uh, this variety is different than your typical uh, purple-leafed uh, smoke bush. The leaves stay in the chartreuse, green, yellow color, and in the autumn, it's going to turn to different shades of orange. And uh, the flower is not as, uh, uh, how do I say this? I mean, the flower is not as showy as the purple variety, but uh, just the color of the foliage alone is just totally worth it. And this uh, golden smoke bush will stay smaller than the regular purple uh, smoke bush. This, I would say it wouldn't get taller than 8 or 10 feet, uh, even at maturity. Yeah, I received this from my friend Drake. <laughs> so I tell people I'm a plant pusher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there was a very huge magnolia tr tree at this uh, uh, spot. It kind of uh, blocked the view and also the sunlight for a large part of the garden. So Sharon decided to remove the magnolia and use something that has a more like a see-through structure and with the right pruning technique uh, can provide some shade but without blocking the view and sunlight for other uh, plants. Look at the final result. It's just stunning. So don't, have, don't be afraid to try something new if uh, the result does not go along with your vision and uh, just change it, make some changes in your garden. Yeah. Can we show people the patio? We have some very nice container around the patio. And also some very nice jazz music, yeah. <laughs> it's a very enjoyable garden. So again, we are at Sharon's Garden in South Buffalo. It is part of the Open Gardens program. And this garden opens on Fridays. If you have time, come and visit this garden. You will enjoy it. Thank you.